Oh yeah, hey y'all, it's your boy Rob Thomas Jr. Once again, with the real new behind the new. The day is still Monday and I'm very unshaven. Uh, y'all forgive me. But the day is still Monday, December 9th, 2019. And I'm going to be real brief. And uh, of course y'all can hear, we rolling R. Kelly in the background. But let me ask y'all a question. What's the difference between Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, and R. Kelly? Skin color. Let me ask y'all a question. How many of y'all really believe that Jeffrey Epstein killed himself? How many of y'all really believe that R. Kelly is nothing more than a product of people like Harvey Weinstein and Jeffrey Epstein? Let me go back and give y'all a real quick brief history. I'm going to give y'all a crash course in who Jeffrey Epstein and Harvey Weinstein were. Weinstein was. And we're going to talk about Charlie Sheen. Jeffrey Epstein was a CIA agent, but he was a double agent because he really was a mole by the Israeli Defense Force, the IDF or the Mossad, which is the Israeli version of the CIA. Jeffrey Epstein's job was to get politicians and uh, entertainers, people in high positions, in compromising situations with young girls. Think about it. You got the Prince of England. I mean, the, the Prince. Prince Andrew was down with Jeffrey Epstein screwing and raping little girls. Harvey Weinstein, you couldn't get a job in Hollywood as a female unless you gave Harvey Weinstein some head. These were major sexual predators who were going to beat their charges. Well, Jeffrey Epstein beat everything because they telling us he did. Ms. Burrell to say, Epstein was murdered. There's no difference. No, Epstein was not murdered. I'm going to be real, Ms. Uh, Ms. Uh, Burrell, uh, Burrell. Epstein is somewhere over in Israel right now, sipping on a pina colada on a beach. That man is not dead. He was too important for them to kill. Because if they killed him, he had what's called dead man switches. A dead man switch is when you got information on somebody and you're afraid that they're going to kill you, you put these dead man switches, which what happens is when you die, you have people putting information out. Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. No, Jeffrey Epstein is alive and well right now. But R. Kelly is in prison. This man, R. Kelly, was so brilliant. Now, I'm not, I mean, I hate what R. Kelly is accused of. Because you don't mess with little kids. But again, R. Kelly is nothing more than a political pawn. He's a pawn in a bigger game, man, than um, what we want to um, admit. Because R. Kelly, again, is not doing nothing that the white folks did not show him. Now, I don't want to make it black and white, but you got to realize. All right, let's go back to your Bible. Hold on, let me pause this. We're going to go back to your Bible. When you read that they were sacrificing their children to these different gods, what do you think they were doing? They was having sex with these children. They were literally performing satanic rituals, killing these kids. This is what your Bible tells us. Now that, that shit ain't stopped. R. Kelly is nothing more than a product of the, um, I guess you could say, upper, upper class, upper echelon of people who sacrifice children, who have sex with children because it's part of a religion. Now I'm going to lose a lot of y'all. It's part of a religion. They believe, uh, on two cases, I think it's called Tariakian religion. In that religion, they believe that two males, if, they, if two men have sex with each other, it opens them up to a higher levels of consciousness. That's why you see so many gays and the gay agenda so prevalent in entertainment and media. If you notice, the gays got a lot of money. That's how they were able to buy legislation. Then you have another group of people who are basically in positions of power who are corrupted because they have got caught on camera by people like Jeffrey Epstein having sex with 10-year-old girls. So guess what? In order for them to keep uh, keep their confidence, their, their confidentiality, they have to do what the Israelis who control Jeffrey Epstein and the CIA who also control Jeffrey Epstein, they have to do what they say because they don't want those videos of them having sex with 10, 11, 12 year old girls coming out. That's really what Jeffrey Epstein was about. 
Jeffrey Epstein was basically a pimp for governments in order to control the uh, people who are in power. Yeah, if I wanted to control you, what's the best way? I get you on camera cheating on your wife, or I get you on camera as a man having sex with another man, or I get you on camera having sex with a 12, 13 year old girl. Now once I got you on camera doing that, guess what you gonna do? Everything that I tell you to do. That's what Jeffrey Epstein was. Jeffrey Epstein was an agent used to blackmail your political leaders. That man is not dead. That whole story is, it, I mean, come on, anybody that believes that that man killed his, how the fuck are you going to kill yourself in jail when you, are, in a sense, was supposed to be on suicide watch? And they took you off suicide watch and put you in there. Now you got guards and everything getting fired because they're trying to cover their story up. No, Jeffrey Epstein is not dead. It's sad to favoritize one and not all of them. They should be all put in the cell. Of course, I, and you're right, Miss. Let me finish reading your statement. They should be putting the cell together to see how it goes. How is it, Charlie Sheen, not been locked? Exactly, Miss Burrell, because Charlie Sheen literally is known to go around spreading AIDS. Charlie Sheen is going around literally giving women AIDS, committing multiple felonies by deliberately knowing that he has AIDS and infecting other people. But is he in jail? The only reason why I bring it up with R. Kelly because I have to look at R. Kelly. I have to look at Bill Cosby. I have to look at Tupac Shakur. I have to look at Mike Tyson. I have to look at Muhammad Ali. I have to look at Michael Vick. Anytime you have a, a black man in position of power, who really deviates or goes astray from what he is told he is supposed to do, they immediately demonize him, try to break him financially, and then put him in prison. R. Kelly, I mean Mike Tyson, Tupac, and Bill Cosby all serve time behind false rape allegations. Why is it that every time a black entertainer go to jail is for child molestation or rape? Why is that? Because it's designed that way to disgrace our heroes. So again, when I talk about R. Kelly, as opposed to Harvey Weinstein and uh, Charlie Sheen. Now, let me show you something. Kevin Spacey was facing homosexual uh, charges where he was allegedly touching other men's penises. And guess what happened to a couple of the witnesses that were set to testify against Kevin Spacey? They wind up dead. Yeah. Kevin Spacey around here killing witnesses. Harvey Weinstein is, is still walking around here with all these rape charges pending against him with an ankle bracelet on. But they won't let R. Kelly even see the day of life. I hate to say it, and in my opinion, R. Kelly in, in our generation is the greatest producer of our, my generation. One of the greatest producers of all time because get what? The boy couldn't even read and got more number one hits in R&B than any other producer. But at the same time, it does not excuse his pedophilia ways, but what did he learn those ways? Inside the circles of the entertainment industry, inside the circles of Hollywood, he's nothing more than a product of what he learned as he rose to success because that's what they do behind closed doors in the entertainment industry. They fuck little boys and girls. They do homosexual type shit. This is what they do. I'm just being plain and simple. That's what they do. So R. Kelly is being singled out. I don't know what he did and who he pissed off, but he's been singled out for some reason for not going along with it. Because again, you look at Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley married a, a, what, a 14 year old and he was damn near 26. Jerry Lee Lewis was damn near 30 something and married a 13 year old girl, his 13 year old cousin. And guess what? They are held as icons. They are held up as icons. But Bill Cosby is doing time now because some old holes from 70 years ago who look like bags of mashed potatoes with legs right now said he gave me some pills. You took the pills. But now you, you got Bill Cosby who really was trying to um, uplift black people by buying a national network to put positive 
television programming out there for black people because he realized BET was full of shit, TV One was full of shit, everything that they give us as black people. Think about this as black people. What's, what's, the, what's the number, the, the two top shows for black people? Power and Empire. One show power is talking about dope dealers, glorifying dope dealers and killers. And the other one, Empire, is glorifying a homosexual rap lifestyle. So Bill Cosby was trying to, um, to change that image and give us positive image. And they killed his son. Remember when they killed his son at first? He was trying to buy NBC. Then when he started trying to buy the Discovery Channel, they were like, no, nah, we can't do this. So now they get these old ass ladies, you know what I'm saying, who probably was fine before they invented electricity. You know what I'm saying? They might have been tough back in the early 1800s, but now you got these old ass ladies looking like uh, uh, a wrinkled scrotum sack with, with a body. Coming out here saying Bill Cosby raped me. Why did they put Bill Cosby there? Because he was he represented power. Now we don't know why R. Kelly is there. R. Kelly was just stupid, you know. But at the same time, why is R. Kelly in a prison right now? Can't even make bond, even though he got money to make bond. But Harvey Weinstein, uh, Kevin Spacey is running around here free. Charlie Sheen still running around here with prostitutes, getting high off cocaine, spreading AIDS. But R. Kelly is locked up. It's crazy, man. So we did this video just to show that there is a double standard and a hypocrisy um, in the music, I mean, in the entertainment industry, well, in the justice system, period. There is a hypocrisy and a double standard. Whereas, again, I don't agree with R. Kelly and what he did with those little girls, but why is R. Kelly the only one in prison right now? Even though they say he broke, he got the money to come up with Bond, but they, they already said, we're not letting R. Kelly out. We're not letting him out. But again, Harvey Weinstein is running around here, steadily touching people, touch, 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 steadily touching women on their coochies. Yeah, it's crazy. Y'all, man. Leave y'all comments in the uh, thing. We thank y'all for y'all coming. Let me read a couple of y'all comments real quick. Look how they try to do Michael Jackson. Check it out. Michael Jackson was one of the biggest um, proponents for children. He did so much for kids. And how did they break him down? Saying he screwed a couple of little boys. Well, if that's the case, then how the fuck did Michael Jackson get access to them little boys? They parents. Brought them to him, just like the little girls was brought to R. Kelly, just like Harvey Weinstein prayed on little girls, just like F. Jeffrey Epstein prayed on little girls. You got to realize there's a system. You might not want to hear, and it might sound like conspiracy, but I got some white on my motherfucking lip. How come didn't nobody say that? Tell me that. But anyway, that's what's happening. You're dealing with a system of pedophilia. Now, guess what happens? The more and more we be quiet about pedophilia, child molestation, and homosexuality, these people are getting more and more power. They're getting more and more legislation passed to benefit them. You got the, first, remember, I'm going to say this, I'm going to end this. Remember you just had gay. I remember when I was a kid, gay means you was happy and having fun. Now gay means two niggas laying up in the bed with ashy ass ankles and mustaches kissing each other. You know what I'm saying? So you had gay, and you didn't really talk about lesbian. So now you got the gay, lesbian, trans, the LGB, bisexual, trans. Now, quick, guess what? They finna add P to it, because they're finna legalize and normalize pedophilia. You know why? Because too many people in power are getting caught having sex with children. It's all about sex trafficking. Really what it is. They traffic these kids and they, they basically use them as prostitutes to people in power. And they blackmail these people in power because now we got you on video having sex with a 12 year old girl. That's really how the game goes. So now you got to do and say what I want. Why you think some of your politicians around here are so corrupt? I'ma just be real. A lot of your politicians here in Shreveport, male politicians, like penises more than they like vaginas. A lot of your politicians and your preachers around here rather have sex with little girls than they do with their own wives. So guess what happens? They control your politics. Just imagine 
if one of your city leaders, and I'm gonna be graphic, but I'm gonna keep this real, cause you gotta understand. Just imagine if one of your city leaders is on camera sucking somebody's penis. Guess what? The person that has him on camera sucking that penis or having sex with a minor, that's who really controls your government. Literally. Because he's been blackmailed now. He cannot do what's in your best interest because he got to serve the interest of that person who got him on cameras with that little boy or with that little girl or with another man. That's really how a game goes. Hey, y'all got to get out of here and finish raking these leaves up. I just took a few little minute break, but, uh, hey, game, recognize game, and this shit is real, man. Keep your hands off these kids, but at the same time, let's use justice fairly. Because if R. Kelly is still in prison, then Harvey Weinstein should be in prison. Kevin Spacey should be in prison. Charlie Sheen should be in prison. And dozens um, of your politicians, Prince Andrew, should be in prison. You see what I'm saying? Why is R. Kelly the only one and Bill Cosby? Why, why are they the only, only two entertainers in prison? Real game, man. Y'all be blessed.